<laughs> Why does it matter if you have your shit on in the booth? <laughs> Alright, we should be good to go. I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming. I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming. Dab, 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 <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. Back live. Why are ladies and Gentiles? <laughs> Gentiles. Gentiles. You vile sons of guns. You know what the fuck it is. You vile the one, the only, C. Rockavelli. And yes, you know what the fuck is it? I stay smoking on something smelly. Rubbing and poking on different random whores' bellies. Yes, indeed. Making them sip and surp this... Jelly. And yes, I had some surge earlier, so I'm feeling purge, Hermia. Damn, I want some surge. Surge is my fucking jam. Surge is bomb. It's the best. And yes, you know, once again, you've heard it. Back in the motherfucking place to be. The one, the only, the Caucasian who needs no persuasion. The Italian who needs no stallion, yet he rides and he trots. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> he rides and he trots so elegantly and gracefully that you'll just flip out. Because he has an elegance and leisure you've never even witnessed nor seen in your life. Yes, it is. What is it, BV? Uh, uh, I just paused the music. Drink water. Yes. <laughs> Back. Episode 48 or 49? 49. 49. In 49. fact, uh, we are actually going to be able to do the 50th episode before I leave. Yeah. We're on number 49, motherfuckers. About to be on 50 before Silica leaves. Oh. And after that, they're going to be exclusive drops. Yep. And uh, we'll lives. see what, what, yeah, in the lives, and we'll see how, uh, how, and how in this way I record them, because my man Silica will show me how to record them. I am. I'm gonna do so, that. So yeah. <coughs> yeah, you gotta bring your laptop over here one day. Shame. So, how was your week? Or how, well, what you been up to, so? I've been up to very little. Uh, I've been doing catching up on some of the video shit. I finished all the stuff that we recorded when we did the the rocker reviews. Yes, indeed. Go check out those rocker yeah. reviews. Check and out we... Mimosa and uh, King Louie, both yes. of which came out pretty nice. We will um, be recording a few more before he leaves as well. Hopefully, definitely, hopefully. Definitely. Uh, other than that, I finished the Bongathon video. It's also up now. Yes, indeed. That one took forever because I didn't want to, like relive bongathon but <laughs> but once i finally did it, it came out pretty nice i also have another video that uh j just for releasing the secret on this uh it'll actually upload after i leave it'll it'll be it'll pop itself up on september 30th um, and who are you leaving organic unity uh too is it shorter i mean organic unity has always been Shorters. This has always right. been his kind of vision for the the company and stuff. Um, as much as theoretically, I am a a major part of Organic Unity. I don't know. I'm I'm a fucking media mercenary, man. Like, <laughs> I I have so many fake companies of my own that I could put stuff under. I got fucking somewhere corporation dead analog and fucking trying to do Basilica stuff now. I gotta use Basilica on all my fucking video things so I can leave a tag on them and shit. But yes, you do. But uh, <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know what the future is gonna hold. Hopefully, I'll find some some fucking stony idiots in uh, Boston and we'll just keep it uh, kind of uh, growing this thing across the board. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up a thing as soon as I get there. This fucking cannabis lifestyle video producer looking for fucking people to hang out with. Mmm. And that's gonna go because in crazy. theory, that is what I that is what I do. I'm a cannabis lifestyle video producer. Yeah, not, not for myself. So any uh, anybody out there in Boston that might yeah. potentially hear this, hit my man up. Yeah, we need to do some Great shit. producer. There's shit out there. Fucking, there's plenty of East Coast shit going on. Let's see what's up with all that. Hopefully, all of my plans for all of this stuff work out. Uh, so, even if they don't, I have some backup plans. And if it doesn't work out, would you be coming back to Colorado or no? Mm, if it doesn't work out, I think I'm going to Portland. Mm, okay. That's that's the secret backup plan. 
but huh? we'll find out. Uh, yeah, because I, I actually, I went up there to check out their weed industry a while ago, and it was actually pretty interesting. They have, they have a really cool thing where uh, people can just have their own personal marijuana grows, and they can sell two dispensaries. So, like, Word. you can get designer fucking genetics from a specific grower in specific dispensaries, which I thought, I thought was really cool. I, I wish it was like that here. I wish there was somebody whose weed I could have attached to or known somebody that was going to put shit into dispensaries that I could dictate, like, what kinds of strains they'd be throwing out and shit. Be like, I think you can do that, but it's not like, I don't know. No, nah, not not in the corporate shit that we got in Colorado, for sure. And I'm, I'm pretty sure. I know a dispensary sure. that got a certain strain from a certain grower. I, we shall not say which ones they are. Yeah, but. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of that, but just as far as, I don't know, I, I love the idea of, like, farmer's market weed, where you're like, this company's got, like, four strains, fucking this company's got four strains, check them out, all that shit. Um, but, uh... I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting because Boston's market is not nearly as uh, progressed as either here or Portland. But I just uh, I got some other shit in Portland that I might show up there for. So. Okay, okay, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll find out. <clears throat> I just got back from Phoenix watching the great, great, great fight. One of the greatest fights I've ever seen. Uh, what's up, Cadaver Glass? Ah, uh, but. Canelo versus Triple G, number O Dos, was a fucking classic. Very close contested match between two very great fighters. Uh, I, I didn't even bet on the, on the fucking fight because it was that good. Um, I was, I was uh, astonished and amazed at both chins on both fighters. Great fight, great fight. But as I knew, Canelo took it. Shout to Canelo. Shout to PEDs if you, you know, took them. But, you know, fuck it. We're going to go to number three. It's going to be a fucking trill. Excuse me. Excuse me once again. So unprofessional. <laughs> like if this is so professional. Anyway. Uh, Canelo won. Triple G was sad. And his face looked like a goddamn broken piñata. So. Shout smacked. to that. Uh, shout to my friend. My good friend G, uh, we had a great baby shower. Shout out to his lovely uh, lady, my homegirl Sandy. And uh, we're, we're using the aliases so that no one uh, gets, you know, whatever. <laughs> Aliases. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was a great weekend up there in Phoenix. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody that, you know, we. everything was good. Very motherfucking hot. Very, very, very motherfucking it's hot. Fucking Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I got my ass whooped at Madden by my little fucking like thirteen year old sister. Nice. Fucking kids, man. <laughs> I'm bugging, but um, I had a, I had a I had a I had a topic I was talking about at work the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And um, oh, shit. Well. me and the homie were talking, and uh, he was saying that he's been saving resin for like two years or whatever. I used to do that. And I was like, bro, we live in Colorado. Why would you need to do that? Like resin, resin, like black like shit? Resin, resin, like yeah, shit yeah. you scrape out, the, yeah, yeah, out yeah. the pipe, right? Yeah. It's like, bro, we live in Colorado. Why would you need to do that? There's no reason for that. Mm. It's like, we have weed every day. It's like, man, my man's name is Alias, Rocker Alias. His name is uh, Schmex, right? <laughs> Not fucking Rex. Whatever. It's... T-Rex, T-Rex, my man T-Rex. He could be Shrex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? Shrex, he's like a, he's Shrex. Like a T-Rex Shrek. Yeah, Shrex, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Some of that. Anyway, right, so we're talking and uh, he's telling me that he saves resin. And he's been saving resin for a long time in case of a bad day or whatever. And I'm like, what you mean a bad day? Like, there's no bad day in Colorado. We always have weed. No, that's a... Uh... It's the thing that I feel bad about. I fucking, I used to be super frugal with that shit, and now, and it's just, just so everybody knows, fucking, I feel wasteful anytime I pull anything out of my bowl that could still be smoked, and then, fucking, I got these people that are like, no, I only take greens hits, and I'm like, you know, maybe you should go fucking. Oh, you're gonna be fuck like off. that in Boston. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I think, uh, I think I'm about to do like a real fucking detox. You're about to be fucking sober as fuck. Because their weed sucks. Anyway. I just want their seafood. I don't give a shit about their weed. Back to my man Shrek. I'll sell it all. That's crazy. Give a shit. 
uh, Shreks, my man Shreks, um, he's like, so I'm saving my hash in case of an apocalyptic, like, happening or whatever. Like apocalyptic. a mass, a mass contamination. Some shit, like a big uh, meteorite. fucking put that on this. Whatever, and I'm like, mm, f- I, I bust out laughing when my man's wilding. Yeah. Like, yo, son, you're wild, yo, like. I mean, uh, he's I. like, nah, man, <laughs> it's gonna be like bartering, man, like. <laughs> Like, bartering like, resin. Like, I'm going to trade, <laughs> but by then, in apocalyptic <laughs> times, resin would be considered hash. So, here's the real trick. <laughs> right or not? The only reason that I wanted to say resin was when I came to Colorado, I found out about concentrates. And I was like, well, I got all this fucking resin in my pipe. Theoretically, if I isopropyl alcohol extract everything else but the THC and cannabinoids out of it, it becomes like shatter. You make yeah. shit ass shatter, and that's actually, it's actually the name of my record label is uh, Black Shatter, and wow. Because it's it's fucking uh, resin shatter, and uh, and I think, I think mostly we're just fucking spoiled, and theoretically, if we were all fucking as green as we needed to be, we would be doing our own fucking extractions on resin so that we could get a little bit of extra nice ass already activated THC concentrate. I think it. I think it would be healthy. No for one would want to smoke no motherfucking shatter resin. Dude, I would smoke some fucking. I mean, resin shatter. Resin shatter. I'd be so down. Not me, man. I smoked a lot of. Sh- you clean all the other shit out. It's I just, smoked a it, lot of resin. You make it into. In my day, you man. make it into like just THC and what plant matter survived. But I smoked a lot of resin that. back in my day, and it's oh, not dude. Too good. I invented names for different kind of bowls involving resin. But fucking, I got high as fuck back in them days. You get you a fucking uh, a Grimer. That one is uh, is uh, resin and Keef, I believe. You know they should name and a. And then a they Charizard name a weed called Coffee. A Charizard is fucking uh, resin and then weed and then Keef on top of that. Resin and then weed and then Keef. Mm-hmm. So you burn the shit out of it at the beginning, then you smoke through the weed, and then everything congeals into this fucking blob that gets you high. Fuck wow, good. that is. Wow. My favorite thing is people used to say that uh, they were like, you don't even get high off of smoking resin. It's just you asphyxiating yourself. And I'm like, ah, that's not true. That's it? not. It's not just uh, fucking alcohol or not alcohol, oxygen. Um, fucking that's not true. Is it? Deprivation. Off of it? I, it's not true. And and it, one of the reasons that I just learning more about concentrates in general is everything has a little bit of activated THC in it a lot of the time for concentrates. And even flour has some activated THC in it. And uh, so having resin that is already primarily activated, is the, it would also be like edible shatter. Like you would put that shatter into stuff, it would already be activated. Shit like that. So just uh, we're such a fucking... Well, we're spoiled, <clears throat> We are such a detriment to the environment as the weed industry, and there's nothing that can be done about it. And we are super spoiled. We're so spoiled. I th- I'm sure I've talked about this before, but when we did the 40 gram dab, we had a bunch of people showing up in comments when we put this promo out, where uh, people were like, "That's disgusting and wasteful. Like people are are fighting for their medicine out here and all this kind of shit." And I was like, "Yo." Fucking, I don't know if you know this, but in Colorado, we have so much product, we're literally kicking it out the door for nothing. Like, so so I'm not so at Standing Akimbo. So shit out here. So I'm not at Standing Akimbo anymore. I know we're still doing 299 ounces on concentrates, and we're doing, we were doing $10 eights was the last, uh, like... $10 fo- eights? $10 eights was the last text message that I got. And $10 eights is what I, as a, like an employee, paid. So much like, you like what the hell? What the hell? What is the advantage to being an employee when you're just gonna and give everything away for free? It's it's, not, if you it's think about insanity. it, these same eights, if it was a state over, yeah, fucking forty dollars. No, Boom. sixty. Uh, th- nobody pays it. If you're still paying sixty dollars for an eighth, you need to tell people that they're. Son, wrong. there's people <laughs> in uh, in like Utah that pay sixty dollars <clears throat> an eighth. Stop, stop it, Utah. You, son, <laughs> have you seen Utah weed? I've not. I've not it's been to Utah. Horrible. I probably I've won't ever go. Utah, but to I've Utah. seen like I'll look up random hashtags like like Utah weed or New York weed or East Coast weed and 
They're weed as shit, brother. Just so tell me. Can't trust shit by the way. What you going Because knowing you, you ain't going to smoke all this weed by the time you got to leave. What are you going to do with this weed? Dude, I am tr- I'm actually trying. I'm trying really hard. And every time I smoke a bowl, I'm like, oh, my God, I got to smoke another fucking bowl. But I think it's going to help me. You got to smoke them in joints, man. I think it's going to help me not be dependent on it because I'm going to get to a point in the next couple days where I'm like, dude, fuck smoking weed. You can give it to me. You can give it to me. I mean, if I got any left, I'll let you know. I still got a bunch of fucking distillate syringes. I don't. You can give them to me. Fucking don't need that shit. Nobody needs that shit. I I need them. (laughs) I love them. I get high. I'll figure it out. I but I I I inject them into my joints. I am trying to smoke the rest of that weed. You smoke the rest of that. I am trying really hard. Because if that was a six pack of beer, that six pack of beer would be gone so fast. I know. It's just it That's takes. That's because beer is so delicious, man. It's because I can drink beer like water. So I can't son, smoke check it out. weed like water. We're That's talking not... back to the back to the the the. the if I if I didn't smoke cigarettes, that weed would probably son, already be gone. What would you honestly. rather have, beer or weed, in apocalyptic times? Say we are living in the fallout times, right? Uh, alcohol for sure. You would rather take alcohol? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably would too. Hundred percent. I don't know. First thing I'm doing. I don't know, man. I love beer, but I love weed, man. First thing I'm fucking doing when the apocalypse happens is I am taking over a fucking liquor store. That's Son. fucking cigarettes and alcohol. I don't give a shit about weed. If you bring me weed, I'll give you some alcohol, whatever. But I, I, rather take... I need I need liquor on hand. That's I what need... I mean. Yeah, but oh, but the beer won't be cold. I mean, is the power well? That's why you drink liquor. It's the first you know, the first say it's like the first week of the apocalypse, right? So you man? drink all the beer the first week, and then you just switch to the liquor because it lasts longer anyway. I wouldn't want to drink liquor, man. In the apocalypse, you're probably gonna be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you know what? I am gonna down this whole bottle Yo, of whiskey. Yo, imagine I don't what it's gonna be like, son. <laughs> no, does imagine. That... Is it gonna be like Fallout? Uh, see, that's my hope, is that it is like Fallout. Um, I hope it's like Fallout, I, too, because I got mad motherfucking, uh, I got mad motherfucking, uh, dude, what are these called again? Bottle caps. Bottle, I got mad bottle, bottle caps, caps son. All over the place. All fucking, over the oh place. Oh, my God. Son. Dude, so I'm Fallout New Vegas. I want that to happen. because I haven't played that one. New Vegas is the best one, 100%. It's fucking amazing. Um, but uh, all I know is that... What's the if, difference between New Vegas <clears> and... Uh, Three. And three, yeah. Uh New Vegas has better characters. And how long? It's it's pretty long. It's got a bunch of it's got a bunch of DLC. There's one really good DLC where they fucking downloadable content. They go to the Grand Canyon and there's this burned up dude. I'm not gonna purchase DLC. You should just get the like full version that gives you all the. It's fucking that game's been out for like ten years now, man. Like you it's can, been ten years. It's been like what five six? No, it's it's been out for like ten years. Fallout Three has been out for like ten years, and I never even beat. That yeah, one. and then New that Vegas. New Vegas fucking, was probably like two years later. Fallout Three was, is still fucking long. I don't know. Too. My phone's over there. If you have your phone, you should look it up. But Fallout Three is still fucking long listen too. Listen to this song because it's a good song. Um. But no, I hope it's like Fallout. Um, I wanna. I Are wanna, they making a new Fallout? I think they're making a Miami Fallout or a Palm Springs Fallout or some shit. Um, Fallout Four was meh, and I don't know. Other than that, they've just been doing the fucking mobile game. Uh, what are people still playing Fallout right Shelter. now? Say. I honestly don't know. Right now, today. People are playing the new Spider-Man game. That apparently is the is the big new thing. I heard that game is dope, son. They basically took Spider-Man Two for the PlayStation Two and they made it shiny. The dope shit. Yeah, they that game they was took dope. they took the dope one and they made it that shiny. That shit was dope. Son. It's the same. I it's know, exactly son. I saw the same. The, I shit. saw the gameplay. Son. There are literally like son. frame to frame comparisons of like camera shots and shit that I could show you. Fucking. Son, it's I, the I same watched shit. the gameplay. It yeah. was good shit. It looks fine. I, it looks like you can <clears> get <throat> extremely stoned and relive your fourteen. It year looks old fine. Days. But that game is basically... Well, at least for me, 14-year-old. It's days. just Arkham Asylum. Shout out to Man Chef. It's just Arkham Asylum. Sorry, like that's, but with Spider-Man. But with Spider-Man, exactly. But Batman whoops Spider-Man, but... No, Spider-Man beat Batman you any day of the fuck. week. You better shut any your ass week. up, son. Any day of the week. You got me fucked He's up. He's got Spider-Sense. What does Bruce Wayne have? Bruce Wayne has... Nothing. Everything. He got nothing. He has his belt. 
He has it, yeah, and Spider Man can he see has anything from his belt. Suicide. No, Spider Man would get through it. No. Fucking, no. he'd fucking Spider-Man's web him. Spider Man's a pussy. He'd web him and then, like, slam him into a fucking wall, and then his fucking armor Damn, would shatter. Yeah, 97% like this video game. Dude, fucking New Vegas is the shit. The game is great. It's got the best, most horrifying death claws. Fucking. This was released in 2010. Yeah, eight years. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! I thought it was ten, but it's eight. I remember that shit. Yeah. I remember when it was gonna come out. Yeah. Twenty ten. The game rules. Holy mm-hmm. shit! Yep. They haven't made a better shooter. Shout out to my man Gonzo, game. which I just noticed. Uh, Me and my man Gonzo have been friends for damn near ten years. <laughs> if we, I think we met the summer of '08. So it would be 10 years this year. But if not, it was the summer of 09. Which next year will be 10 years. So it's been nine years I've been friends with that motherfucker. <laughs> it's so crazy, ladies and gentlemen, how fast 10 years fucking flies by when you're having fun. I'm trying to think of what the longest I've known one person I still talk to is. That's my man right there, too. That's my motherfucking dog, man. I think the longest one that I've got is like... 13 years because I'm 28 and I met them when I was 15. You don't know anybody from your elementary school years or middle school years? I haven't talked to any of those people. Like, I went to Catholic school, so I was like hanging out with all the fucking sheltered so kids. I know, I know and a then, lot like, of people on my Facebook I've known for damn no. near 20 years. <clears throat> That is crazy. I just don't. I don't talk to any of them. And the only one that the only one that I could say would be longer than that. I've literally known since I was like one. So I've known somebody for like twenty eight years, but I never see them. I don't them. talk to never no, talk like, to them. But I my, know people that I'm, I'm constantly to. T- constantly getting pictures of their kids and their wife Son. and shit. And it's hilarious. Dude's got dude's got like fucking six kids, Son. and I'm losing my shit over here, being like, holy fuck, I don't even want one. Holy Yo, God! I, Holy God! It's amazing where we're at in life, Woo! right? You're 28. I'm 30. I'm about dude. to be 31. It's dude. amazing. There, I got homeboys. <laughs> I got like four or five kids. No, man. Son. 30. No diseases. No kids. Gold mine. You fucking. Son. You just get to coast. You just get to do whatever you That's want. They tell me they're like, you're chilling. What the fuck are you yeah. doing? Like, don't worry about don't that shit. Know. It I'm doesn't like, matter. And it's I'm over nice. here stressing out, having anxiety <laughs> attacks because my life is. Like to me, it's like just yeah. me being thirty by myself. Like, yeah. but then again, I look at their life and I'm like, I'm, I, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not bad. And then yeah. I just saw I saw some big booty hole at, uh, at the spot where I was eating. It's called Bourbon Chicken. Shout out to Bourbon Chicken. Oh, I, bourbon I'm, chicken. I'm, I'm I'm half tempted to drive back because that ass is amazing. <laughs> You think it's still going to be there? It might still be. Still eating chicken? It didn't look... No, she wasn't eating chicken. It looked like she wanted some chicken to eat. It looked like she had been on that corner for a she's, good uh, little bit. She's like looking for a bone? Looking for somebody to throw her a bone? I the bone, but nah, you know, she was looking a little greasy. I couldn't do that. Couldn't a little glisten? A little nah, glisten over? <laughs> yeah, man, this shit was crazy. She was crazy, man. Damn, ladies and gentiles. You guys are gonna miss the spiciness when it's gone. Ah, uh, we we will never stop being no, spicy. No, we'll, because we'll be on the live wires. We'll we'll figure this shit out. I'll Subway. teach C Rock how to produce stuff. He'll start making podcasts for other people. It'll just I go down from there. Fucked up. You could charge him. You could be like me, except you'd actually you charge like, people money. You could be like. <laughs> We could be like the podcast haven. <laughs> yeah, dude, that that was what we were supposed to be doing at the beginning of this, but like nobody. Can I tell you, Siraka, of all tell me, man, tell of me. all of the people that I have worked with since I have come to Colorado, you have shown up and done your job the most out of everyone that has ever worked with me. We gotta get this content, everything. Man. Like people we don't. Content and we're still gonna get these goddamn people, reviews. People next, just after shorter yeah, show. And uh, but Thursday. all I'm saying is like fucking people slack, man. And like I, I on my fucking business card, it it says literally you have to pull the trigger. Fucking call me. We'll make the thing. We talked about the thing. Call me. We'll as talk. Soon as we'll we said, as figure soon as the we, figure the fucking thing out. As soon out. as I was on shorter show, and we yeah. clicked up. You like yeah. you need a show. Yeah. We need to get Let's a show. Let's do the fucking thing. And, and then you the showed fuck? up. And I showed up. And it's then awesome. every Tuesday you be so, like, yo, we recorded. And I was like, my man, yeah. I was waiting <laughs> on you. Pro tip: 
Uh, just show up for stuff. Same thing with working. This is my... And every show we get better. Yeah, that's the thing. You just have to keep fucking doing it. Like, you have to explore what that energy is that you're trying to get out there. Our show is inherently about nothing, but it gets to be an interesting look into the lives of two people interacting with it one another. It used to be three it. lives. But then he got mad <laughs> well, because we dissed first, R.E.M. First it, was, <laughs> first it was two lives, then it was three lives, then it was two lives. But no, that was because we weren't consistently actually uh, talking about politics because we don't know anything about politics. And Nate, so, Nate knows yeah, only and, his and there's, there's nothing that we can do about that. We've and had some just, interesting hmm. episodes, though. We've had Flat Earth. Oh, it's we've been had a, ridiculous. We've had a cocky stripper. We did? We, we've had a, well, an unreleased episode with a fucking, my ex. That's I good. thought she was, was going to get into every fucking thing. I, I think I may have actually deleted that one. You might be free of that good. one. So. Good. Good. <laughs> But man, I had a dream about it the other day, and I smacked <laughs> myself when I woke up. Sort of I a bit. smacked the shit out of myself. Now, <laughs> why the fuck am I? And let me tell you, the dream went like this. I can still remember because I don't know how I remember. <laughs> I was driving with my mom or somebody in, in the whip, on the fucking passenger side. Or I was driving because there's that's the only way you can see out the fucking rear view mirror. Mm. I look out the rear view mirror in my dream, son. Tell me why I see this bitch with her fucking best friend. Like, and they see that I'm in front of them. Is it, mind you, people, this is a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. The hypothetical fucking uh, imaginary moment in my fucking mind. Uh, so I see this bitch putting on her glasses and, like, like doing her stupid, like, bitch, I don't give a fuck pose. Like, you know what I mean? You know how bitches are. But I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, why does the Lord or... Or uh, whatever it is that makes us dream. Why do we dream these things? Dreams are subconscious vomit. They are just random shit. Is it is it is out. it shit that you want that you don't want to no. tell yourself? Or? No, 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 no. It's literally if you had a moment during the day before where you thought about a thing that could possibly get triggered in your brain. But I hadn't thought about it that day. I mean, it's all. Do, do, I, they, do they like subconsciously run through your mind without it's, you even thinking? It's like uh, the mind is such a wild. Place. Imagine your brain has like this pool underneath it, and like as it has thoughts, it like drips into the pool. Yeah. So each one of the thoughts makes a drip in the fucking pool, and then while you're asleep, all that shit drains, and some of it makes you think about it, and it's all in completely random bullshit ways. Like there's no, I'm sure there are people so who how want does to argue. Vu work? How do you think deja vu works? Then? Deja vu is a little weirder. Um, I think it's... I would say that deja vu is a combination of things that you have imagined in the past uh, being very close to what your brain thinks that it's seeing. So whether or not for the split second that you thought about a thing and what that would look like visually, if you see something similar to that, I think that pops up and is like, wait a minute. <laughs> Nah, yo, because I've had dreams where I'm, like, in the exact same situation. I'm like, well, I mean, maybe you yo, just have, I fucking maybe you just this, yo. Like, keep making the same decisions over and over again. But that's what I'm saying. Like, dreams themselves are just vomit. And sometimes you'll see a thing, and then if that thing comes up similar in your life before you, you're like, oh, shit, that, that feels like I was told that it was going to happen. But probably not. It's probably just vomit. Mental vomit. Mental vomit. I don't know. It's the name man. Of the I've episode. had some good days I've vomit. had some bad days of I I'm not discounting people that believe that they are told things through their dreams or whatever. Um but for most people, it's just because brains are crazy and they're popping off having all kinds of fucking electrical pop offs. It's fucking it's crazy shit. I don't even know. But it's actually break time now. Yeah. Which is good. Um, Break time, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. On the cuts this week. Uh, I don't know. T Pain. Since it's on. I on. do. I'm wearing my T Pain shirt. I don't think we can play T Pain. Uh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'll see what I got in my remixes folder. Maybe none of those will pop up. Um. Uh, what well, on the cuts this week? Let's play. Give me uh, oh, Mac Miller just passed. So let's play some Mac Miller. That's I, I've been listening. We to will him. definitely get strikes from Mac Miller. You think so? Yes. Okay, well, especially right now that he's just passed, huh? 
Uh, is there any independent ones you can play of his? <laughs> no, but uh, pick something super old. Uh, pick something really old. Something to do with 50. <laughs> no, we can't play no 50. Really old. Like okay. 70s old. Um, staying alive. <laughs> no, we'll get sued for that too. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy just picking the most let's play popular. The Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> I don't know why that was in my head the other night. So let's All play right. Mickey Mouse Club. We can do that. M I C K. Wait. M I C K. No. M O U S E. I don't fucking know. M I C K E Y. M I C K E Y. M O U S E. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Disney's gonna sue us. Come at me, Walt Disney. Put a remix of that. You cryogenic bastard. Make a boom, a basilica boom bap remix. A bazoom bap. Mother la negra in the system, ladies and gentlemen. Dab dreams radio. We'll be right back. Beep boop boop boop. Bazoom bap. I'm gonna start a whole fucking time. Tallahassee pain. Yeah, Tallahassee pain. Teddy Pendergrass. Right. <laughs> Tallahassee. T- T- Teddy Pendergrass, I think, was, and then uh, Teddy Teddy Pendergrass down. Teddy Pendergrass over. If that's what you wanna do. I can't believe Basilica's got me listening to some motherfucking T Pain, ladies and gents. Back live wire. On the wildest motherfucking podcast in the world, you know what the fuck it is. Dad Dreams, motherfucking radio with the motherfucking host with the most. Your man C. Rockavelli, and you know I stay smoking on something smelly. And my co-host, you know who the fuck it is. My man B.B. Silica. What is it, Basilica? You've officially been dead and screwed. <laughs> This fucking guy. Fucking Antonio me. used to turn this song off every time it would show up in the fucking playlist. <laughs> fucking pissed me off every time. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it's a ridiculous song, He would listen man. to all the other T-Pain songs except for this one. He'd be like, fucking, uh, can't believe it? Yes. Fucking buy your drink? Yes. Chopped and screwed? Turned off. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, what else is on the docket? Uh, what do you, what did you, uh, what did you think about the, the, uh, Eminem response to the I MGK, was, to the response to the Eminem response? I thought it was trash. <laughs> uh. It was boring. It was boring as shit. It was, <laughs> it was fucking whack. weak. It was whack. It was weak? It was whack, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. The, like my other this. favorite thing I learned today that, uh, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly fucking... Got everybody to pose for a picture where they were all putting up their middle fingers and he was wearing like a kill shot shirt. But then somebody rolled up on Instagram and was like, yo, don't lie. All those people were there to see Fallout Boy and you lied to them about what that picture was about. <laughs> Apparently he was like, everybody put your middle fingers up. We're going to take a picture. So he turns around, takes off his jacket. And then when he turns back around and they see that it's a fuck Eminem shirt, they're all like, boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Man, people give Eminem too much. I mean, fuck that. I love Eminem. It's the same with everybody. Man. Fucking, I don't know. People love Eminem. Eminem's from around for forever, and he's got some kind of cred. He may be, he may be, be the best white rapper, maybe. No, but, that was Mac Miller. 
Mac Miller is not the best white rapper by any means. You don't think so? No, under no circumstances. I vibe a lot more to Mac Miller's music than I do to fucking Eminem's nowadays. I am not blinded by all you people who love Mac I Miller like but Mac, never I, mentioned I, I him like before. I like Mac Miller That's... before he croaked. Nobody ever told me. Nobody ever told me. Y'all were I listening like to Mac, Mac Miller, Miller, and then all of a sudden, everybody wants to be like, "Oh my God, I'm so affected by Mac Miller." <laughs> I wasn't that affected, but you know. I mean, people die. People do drugs. People die. Hey. Don't do drugs and don't People die. People overdose all the time. I don't know. All that shit's shenanigans. I still... I don't know. That was one of the most recent ones where I was like, you you people don't care. You're just caring because that's what we're supposed to talk about right now. So um, I knew this chick... <coughs> oh, not knew this chick, but I, I, like, I was following this chick that uh, moved to Cali... Well, you're kind of doing the same thing right now, but you got you to gotta help me help you. She moved over there. I'm not a chick. Not having no money, no... Co- well, she had, I'm pretty sure she's saved. But <coughs> she went over there with nothing. Oh, wow. Please don't tell me this is... I don't know why. This is D12, bro. Watching this just made me want to get a Little Caesars pizza. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably because D12 had a Little Caesars brand deal. <laughs> yeah, right. Who knows? Fucking Instagram hoes. <laughs> God damn Instagram hoes. Anyway, what else is on the docket? Nothing else? I don't know. You seen any, any movies recently? I was going to go watch Predator, but they told me it was horrible. Yo, what do you think about Always Sunny? You ever watch Always Sunny? I've seen like the... Oh my god, this horrible ass one. Um, Always Sunny. Yes, I watched like the first, what, like five seasons? Mm. Great show. Great. I watched all those great on Acid sarcast- one time. That was great. Great sarcasm. So they're back. There's a new uh, There's a new season of Always Sunny. There's two episodes out. Uh, the first episode is really good because it's got a, a Dennis sex doll. And the second episode is really good because... Dennis is a lunatic. Who's your favorite character? Uh, see, that's that's a complicated thing for me because <laughs> technically, like, it, you know, you identify with television show characters and stuff. You're like, this is the character that I am for sure. Fucking, <laughs> aside from all of the fucking weird sex shit, I am totally Dennis. I am not Dennis the weird pseudo-rapist. I am Dennis the pissed off at how menial shit distracts people from doing their jobs. <laughs> Fucking. But uh I don't know. I I love Dennis. Mac is doing a really good job this season. I'm they <laughs> they finally made Mac ridiculously ripped, which I really appreciate. I think that's a fantastic plot point and every time he fucking tries to make his fucking ripness part of their plan, it makes me really happy. So Are you watching any TV shows right now? Um, Shameless. I need to watch a new episode of Shameless. Which I, one? The American one or the British one? American. Um. Did, are you the one that I told to watch the British one and you didn't like it? Was that you or was that I watched it a little bit of it. It was good. Um, what else, was what good. else am I watching? I'm watching a lot of stuff, man. The Terrifier was good. We talked about that last week. I'm already buzzed out, so I don't know what else to say. How the have... fuck is it taking me this long to find fucking what happened to that boy? It's ridiculous. Great song. Great song. <clears throat> um, <laughs> $45 tickets. What are you but... doing? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, C-Rock is over here on his phone, scrolling through Instagram, not bringing you... The hot spicy content. I'm looking for some spicy content. You're looking for something to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> to that boy. Uh, what happened to that boy? I don't know. Keep it Look for the newest rocker reviews on Holy Grail Kush. Yep. Oh, you know what? I sent, uh, Buddy Boy sent me, like, you know, I posted them up and I tagged them. They sent me a, a heart, a heart emoji. 
for the video. Nice. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, man, cool. Uh, you know, we'd love to be a sponsor. <laughs> scene. Left on scene. <laughs> I was like, all uh, right, all right, all you right. Got, you got friend zoned by got, fucking Buddy Boy. Yeah, I was like, all right, all right, all right, my man. I feel you. It's understandable, you know. So from Granted, now we on, have... we'll give you an alias on the review. <laughs> Shmuddy Boy. <laughs> uh, from a certain, from a certain, excuse me, from a certain dispensary that I am, um. Schmarbuds. Did I go to? Uh, what, should we, what should we say? House of Schmankness. What should we say about Buddy Boy? Uh, Schmuddy Boy. I, d- I did that one. Le- no, let's let's. Schmuddy Schmoy. Let's. What's a what's another word for Buddy? I'm already like three steps ahead. Acquaintance. Uh, we call them friend child as Buddy Boy. Uh, friend child. Or, uh, <clears throat> what's Spanish? What's Spanish for buddy boy? Buddy in Spanish is compa. So, compa Com- niño? Compa niño, that? Yeah. Compa niño. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> From the famous gardens of compa niño. <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> we ain't asking for much, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Oh, you can call them companinas just to like dig it in a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) At least answer me back like, nah, we're all right. You know what I mean? You fucking dicks. See, the real trick is uh, fucking, if you're in that position where somebody sends you a thing and you're like, yo, sponsorship, you should send them back a fucking form and be like, here's our sponsorship request form. Here's all the things that you have to tell us about why we should fucking sponsor you that's what you should do to feel seem like you're involved and also be like also fuck you give us all your fucking info <laughs> that would have been professional that's what you should do and that'll turn a lot of people off because they won't know what the or you'll get a lot of really funny filled out forms about people trying to brag about their fucking shit so i should have learned about it a different way huh no i think i think them not responding is is less uh I mean how many how many how many Instagram followers you got? I'm at like uh are you forty or something? Not many. You gotta get to the Thowie. The Thowie. Like, the the Thowie and then if you get to the five Thowie you're golden. I don't got time for all that shit. You so gonna, fuck him. I don't you, give a fuck anyway. You're gonna die either way, C Rocker, you might as well put the time in on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, thank you for tuning in. This is the latest and greatest episode of Dab Dreams Radio. Episode number 49. Damn, he wasted that beer for no reason. Oh, wait, wait. Did you hear Cat Williams hating on all those fucking comedians? No. Bro, look it up. Is that a thing? I like we'll I like to talk shit about Cat Williams, so I'll enjoy this. Yeah. We'll have an emergency episode during the week or something. <laughs> But this is Dab Dreams Radio, ladies and Gentiles, and, uh, you know, the host with the most style, the co-host with the most style, yes, when we talk the most foul, B.B. Silica, C. Rockabilly, you know we stay smoking something smelly, right? Drink water! So, we'll see you on the next one, Silica's going to fucking Boston soon, damn, so, stay tuned. (laughs) Rocket Reviews, I am, what am I going to do? I'm going to go eat some chicken. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming, chain smoking and dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab dreaming. Uh, I've been dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming. Uh, I've been chain smoking and dab, dab dreaming. Chain smoking and dreaming, dab, 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 dab dreaming.